YouTube. My name is Jennifer. I'm the Calculated Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. Today is July the 12th and um, I think this video is going to be pretty short. I only have a couple of pieces that I've really worked on, cross stitch pieces, and um, I've been focusing on one. So, uh, and then a couple of, of sewing and um, then some haul. So, it should be pretty fast. Uh, so, I'll start with my whips. I started on, I think it's July 2nd. Let me get my, my book, my cross stitch journal. I started, nope. I don't know if I can find the right page. Yes, July 2nd. I started with my friend Rose. We met up at the, um, Tinsmith's Wife. Wow, I'm really blanking out. It's been a long day. I've been tutoring all day, some kids. Um, anyway, uh, we met up and we decided that we had kitted up the same project so we would start it together. And so this is it. It's my home in the garden. This is the one of the new ones out by Hello from Liz Matthews. It is so pretty, so, so pretty. This border, I didn't notice how interesting it was until I started to stitch it. So I'm stitching mine on 40 count fog with um, most of the called for Gloriana silks. I had to make a couple of substitution because substitutions because Wendy was at the Tinsmith's wife was out of like, I think just two of them. So, and so this is how far I've gotten on mine. Isn't that really neat? I really like this one a lot. So that's as far as I got. There was a lot of talking, a lot of laughing. So, all right. So that was one of my whips. The other whip I'm doing is uh, Misty Purcell's Mystery um, Christmas in July, Jolly Joy Jingle, Jingle, Jingle Jolly Joy. And so this was the, I have it stretched, it looks crooked, but it's really not. Um, this is on 40 count. I bought the kit. So it's the fabric, <clears throat> excuse me, that she sent and then the over dyed floss. And then I just, subs or I didn't substitute in. I added the DMC. So this is, I actually kept up with this one. And now we got this clue. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Four. What is today? Today is Monday. So I think we got it Saturday. But I sewed with my mom yesterday. We worked on our Dear Jane quilt. So it's Santa. It's so cute. So I can't wait to get back to this. But I've been working mainly on this. Except for the one day I started the other one with Rose. I've uh, stitched only on this in July. So I know. Pretty sad. Um progress. Like, I can't think of my words. I'm so sorry. Okay. Anyway. Um, so like I said, I did sew with my mom. And so I have some more blocks to show you. Um, this one, I still need to stitch it down. I just have it glue basted. Um, it's turned under and then I just have to stitch it down. So, and then this part is pieced. You can see right here. Okay. So there's that one. Oh, my nose is itching. Then there's this one. Isn't that one cute? And this one is probably my favorite. I just really like this one. I think it's because of the yellow. Um, this one, it's going to look weird because it's not sewn down yet. All of these little flags will be folded under when I stitch them by hand. So the pinwheel was, was pieced and then these will be stitched down by hand. Hand applique. And then this one, and I really like this one too. Just, I'm going to put it back here so you can't see my points. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, they're okay. They're just not exact. So, and then this one is also an applique one. Um, it has not been stitched down yet. All it's, uh, we prepped them, turned the fabric under and here, I'll pull it away. And then I glue based it down. You can see right there. So, and that one's super cute. 
And then this one was super easy. We were so excited. We were like, yes, because <laughs> some of them are pretty intricate. Uh, speaking of applique, I had a wonderful viewer who sent me, hold on, I'll show you one second. Okay, I couldn't bring it all over here, but um, all of this and then three of those 12 by 12 project boxes that are about this thick, full of applique projects. I am so excited and so thankful. Thank you so much, Barbara. I sent her a thank you over Instagram. I hope she got that also. Um, anyway, but there's, look at this beautiful fabric like in this one. See, look, it's a whole kit. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh, I can't wait. Oh, well, I mean, I just need some time to... All right, I have nowhere to put this, so you're going to have to hold it in a second so I can go put it back. Okay, I got it put up. Um, thank you again, Barbara. That I just have the sweetest viewers, and you're just so kind. You're just so kind. Thank you so much. Um, okay, also, I received my kit... from Primitive Gatherings. Now, the, the pearl cotton were not in there. But I received, they're already pre-cut pennies, I guess they're called. And they are to make a um, patriotic penny rug that's in her new book, American Gatherings. And so I'm already making a quilt in there. I guess I should have brought that too, but that's okay. Um, but this is my first attempt at wool applique. I guess this is wool applique. And I watched her video on how to do it. So, I think it turned out okay. They're super cute. So, I've done, um, we went to go visit my grandson. It's wonderful. He had surgery. Everything's great. All's fine. Um, such a sweet boy. Oh my gosh, I just love that baby so much. Um... And so I made these in the hotel room one night. I just wanted to try it out. The red I bought, this one I'm still working on, see. Um, the red I bought, the, um, this color, the, what is this called? God, my light is like blowing it out crazy. Um, pearl cotton, the pearl cotton that I bought. I think it's too like bright red to go. I need something that's like a deeper red. So, um, these I just got at Hobby Lobby. And so the Ecru one is, is a great, it's perfect, but they didn't have another red. That was the only red they had. So I'm going to go to the Tinsmith's wife and I'm sure she's, she's got a big selection. So I'll get a appropriate blue and a red when I go next time. So um, those are all of my whips. Like I said, I've been working almost every day at school with students or I've gone out of town. Um, for example, we went to see my grandson. My son and I are going this weekend to Lubbock. Um, he is attending Texas Tech next semester with my twin daughters. They'll be, I'll be up there. And, um, so his orientation is Sunday. So, um, I'm hoping to get to meet up with the academic stitcher, Kippy. Uh, very excited about that. So I have to, to send her a message in a little bit and make sure we're still good. So this chart, I already showed y'all that I bought a while back. I went ahead and bought when I was at the Tinsmith's Wife with Rose, I bought the, um, Avera Swa silk to go with it. And I'm just going to find, cause it's pretty small. I'm just going to find a uh, 40 or 46 count that I already own and stitch it on that. I got another um, Access Commodities. Hey, I remembered at that time. I got one of the fatter ones. I bought another one, so I got that. I really like those. And Wendy said that um, these are easier to hold because if you look like, look at this one. This is an Access Commodities, but it's a super thin. And she said this one, um, she thinks is easier to hold. So it's like three times that almost. Okay. Um, I also got 40 Count Murky. I'm going to do um, the little snowman that goes on the Murky. It came out like a year or two ago. 
I'm pretty sure it's Blackbird Designs. Uh, I'm going to stitch it. I needed some murky, so I got that. Then I bought a 40 count Havana, uh, just a fat quarter of it, just because I really like this color. I don't know why I'm going to stitch on it, but I have some Havana in some projects already. Then I bought this Carriage House Samplings Honeycomb and Flower Garden. Honeycomb and Flower Garden. Isn't that really, I just love those colors. I've never seen this one. I think it's an older one, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it doesn't matter. I think it's an older one. Um, then I bought Heartstring Samplery. She's very, uh, Wendy is really good. She saves every time one of these comes out. I buy it from her. So um, this is one of her series Sunday Stitches. This one is A Mighty Fortress. Yes, A Mighty Fortress. And I went ahead and bought the floss for it. Um, I have a lot of linen, so that one I didn't worry about. This one also I bought Emily Ann Foster. Yep, 1892. And this one I bought the silk to stitch it. Um, then Scarlet House, A Changed World. Oh, I love this sampler. This one uh, calls for 100-3 silks. So I probably will get those next time I go see uh, Wendy. So then Mary Frances Stidstone, Victorian Rose Needle Arts. Here's the name. And here is, oh, look at that house with the two deer. I thought my husband would like this. He likes to look at the deer. From Victoria Rose Needle Arts. This one calls for MPI. It also has a DMC conversion though. I did not get those. <laughs> I had to draw the line somewhere. And then the sampler company, this one is Martha Price Sampler. It, they don't say it on the front. You have to, oh look, you can see all the windows. I'm in my sunroom. Oh, it's so pretty. I like to do these over one on 28 count. That's my favorite. And they usually call for DMC, the ones that I bought previously. Um, then I bought Ann Smith. It says a Quaker reproduction. And this is uh, Kathy Barrick. Kathy Barrick. And Ann Smith. Okay. This one I actually bought the needlepoint silks and 40 count doubloon to stitch this on. Oh, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, then I bought Big Toe, My Big Toe. Big Toe Designs, My Big Toe. My Big Toe. Uh, the Lord is My Shepherd. I've wanted a chart with the Lord's Prayer on here. Uh, not the Lord's Prayer. Oh my gosh. Um, what is it? Psalms. Oh, I'm so bad. My Sunday school teacher would be so disappointed in me. What is it? Psalms. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. Okay, I'm going to put it down here. I mean, I have it memorized, but I couldn't tell you. Oh, I'm in such big, such big trouble. Where is my shepherd? I shall not. Okay, anyway. Um, then, so what I did, that's still bothering me, um, I got 40 count exemplar, exemplar, yes, isn't that pretty? That's a pretty linen. And then, oh, Psalms 23, Psalms 23, okay, pretty sure. All right, so, um, 40 count exemplar, and then these are the two, these are not called for, but they're the two that I picked out. The green and green and purple not usually my jam but I think that those two are gonna look really pretty together I like it I like it a lot and believe it or not well 
that's not all I bought. Um, I bought a lot of floss to kit up some projects I already had. To kit up, these are all, these are over dyed cottons and then these are NPIs. I just have to go match them to the charts, which you've already seen because I showed you last time. And that is it. I'm looking around. Oh, oh, there's something else I want to show you. Um, people keep asking about my Etsy shop and I'm sorry, but I have not had time this summer. It has been, like I said, I've been working at school a lot and so, or out of town. Um, but I went to my quilt shop and, um, because I just opened it back up, don't have to wear a mask. I mean, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'm there. And, um, they had a sale table. The owners like went through their personal stash and had stuff out that they just had for years and decided they were not going to use it. So, okay, that's good. I'm looking. Hold on. And I found fabric to make um, uh, project bags when I have a chance. So, um, to make project bags for me, I have to have everything cleared off and I need like a couple of days to work on it. It's not something I can work on, put it away, work on it. So anyway, I found Blackbird Design fabric and like, not just a little bit, look like yardage. This is one of them. Isn't that gorgeous? So I got this big roll, not only got it, but got it on very well inexpensively because it was all on sale. This one is gorgeous. If you can see this. Isn't that pretty? And this one I got, it's probably, how big are you? This is about two yards of this one. So not as much as the other one. I got a big roll. This one says it's five yards. That's what these are of this one that is Blackbird Designs. And then this one is five and a third. And it's similar to the other one. It's just a different colorway. So it looks like cross stitch. Oh, can you believe? Speaking of Blackbird, um, I know everybody's probably already heard the passing um, of Barb, and I just, I mean, I know Alma's never going to see this, but I mean, m my prayers go out to, I, it's just, I can't imagine losing a friend like that, and um, I mean, if there was something I could do to help, I would love to help. I just, you know, you feel helpless, and um, so... I just, I feel like we lost, and I haven't been doing this very long, and I did not know her personally. I mean, she was going to be at the retreat I'm going to in September, and I was very much looking forward to it. But So I've never met her, but you can still, you know, feel the loss and the grief. And um, so I know the whole community is, is reeling, I think. So, um, but, you know, her family is in my prayers. And um, Alma and her family are in my prayers also. So um, other than that, I really, this is crazy, but I think that's going to be it. Uh, I had to do this quickly. My husband went, they have open gym tonight. So his, like his athletes go up and they play basketball and lift weights and do whatever. And uh, my two kids that are home for the summer are both working. So uh, my last journal video, I have to apologize. It's almost two hours long, but I could not figure out how to speed up parts of it or how to cut parts out. So I'm going to keep working at it. Um, I'll have another journal video, video up soon. I should. So we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have for now. So talk to you later. Plus two, be kind to each other.